How are you doing guys? Welcome to our first video on the new channel, The Distilled Truth. Now, I really want this channel to be a community and an open discussion about cocktails and drinks and everything related. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and I invite you to do the same. What do you like, what don't you like? Do you agree with me, do you disagree with me? Let's just have an open forum where we can share our thoughts and opinions. Now, if you haven't seen part one of our guide to the cocktail survival handbook on the Bonville cocktail collection, go and check that out now, because in this video, we're gonna be tasting and discussing all the drinks we made in that video. Now, I'm just gonna preface this by saying that in our ebook, we had five easy drinks, five intermediate and five a little bit more advanced. And today we're looking at the really, really easy ones. So these I think are five of the simplest cocktails you can make. And with all cocktails, they each deserve a video in their own right. But today we're just looking at the tasting. So forgive me if I brush over any of the finer details. So the daiquiri. What can I say? I made this one with equal parts lime and one-to-one -one sugar syrup. So it's perfectly balanced but it's easily tweaked. If you want it a bit sweeter, a dash of sugar, a bit more sour, just give the lime a squeeze, a bit more rum if you want it a bit stronger. It's so versatile, you can blend it, add fruit, make a pitcher, share with friends. This one's perfect for a summer's day, but I like to drink them all year round. It's one of my favorite drinks of all time and I cannot wait to do a video just about the daiquiri. All right, next up, Tom Collins. Another one of my favorites and another all time classic. And I'll be honest with you, it's not technically a Tom Collins because I've not used Old Tom Gin. And until recently, Old Tom wasn't readily available and it's still not something you can get in your local supermarket. So I've used London Dry Gin and equal parts lemon juice and one to one sugar syrup. If you do use Old Tom, drop the sugar down a little bit because an Old Tom Gin has a natural sweetness. Right, to the taste. I mean, it's another beautifully refreshing, light, crisp drink. You've got the refreshing fizz from the soda, the sherbetiness from the lemon, some light botanical notes from the gin, but it's not overpowering because we served it long. It's just a perfect drink for sitting in your garden on a summer's day and having a sip. You know, if, if you don't like gin and tonics, definitely give this one a go. I always recommend people that say they don't like gin and tonics try a Tom Collins because nine times out of 10, it's not the gin that they don't like, it's the tonic. So if you've never tried one, do yourself a favor, give it a go, you won't regret it. Right, so we've gone from sitting by the pool or in your garden in the summer sun to what I think is the perfect nightcap or after dinner drink, the old fashioned. Let's give it a taste. So it's tricky giving tasting notes on this because the end result very much depends on what your base spirit is. We're using Buffalo Trace, which is very smooth and mellow. It's got vanilla and caramel notes. So choose your bourbon or rye wisely and just be aware that whatever you pick is gonna have a effect on the end result. But this is beautiful. The sugar syrup just takes the edge off the alcohol. The Angostura gives it depth and complexity. You know, a couple of these after dinner would be a perfect digestive or one or two before bed, a perfect nightcap. Don't be put off by the amount of whiskey in these drinks. You can really tweak the ingredients to suit your own palate by adding a bit more sweetness or a bit more dilution. One thing I would recommend though is try and avoid sugar cubes or granulated sugar. Use a homemade sugar syrup so you've got that consistent sweetness all the way through and you don't get that gritty, sugary finish at the end. But play around, play around with base spirit, play around with the ratios, let me know what you think. All right, that brings us to a number four, the Black Russian. Now, I'll be honest, this is not my favorite cocktail, although I confess, I did used to drink quite a few of these in the 90s, topped with Coca-Cola. Sorry about that. It's a long time ago. <laughs> Let's move on. I'll give it a taste, it's been a while. Yeah, I mean, it is tasty. Far too sweet for my palate. A few sips is more than enough for me, but if you like that kind of thing, if you like that rich coffee flavor, if you want that sort of after dinner drink experience, but you're not a fan of the bourbons or the scotches or the Añejo rums, then this is the perfect drink for you. But be careful, because they might creep up on you. They are a lot boozier than they actually taste. All right, guys, last but not least is the Negroni. Now this is a massively popular drink that's been gaining popularity over the last 10 to 15 years. And another drink, I have to be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of when I first tried it. But you know, as my palates developed over the years, they've really grown on me. And a couple of these before dinner make a perfect aperitif. Let's have a taste. Mm. 
yeah. You know, that bitter orange from the Campari is, is the dominating flavor, but it, it is mellowed out slightly by the sweet vermouth and you get a nice strong kick from the, from the gin. If you're not a fan of Campari, then definitely stay away from this one. But as a pre-dinner drink, a couple of these can't go wrong. If you don't like the Campari, I probably shouldn't say this because the purists think this can only be served in equal parts, but you can play around with the ratios a little bit, drop the Campari up the vermouth, or take the Campari out altogether and replace it with something less dominant like Aperol. Again, have a play, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining us here on The Distilled Truth for our first video. It's such early days, we'd love your support in growing the channel if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. At the end of the day, this channel is all about you guys. So we wanna know what you like and what you don't like. And on that note, please leave your comments on what you wanna see us cover in the future. If you haven't got your copy of the Bonville Cocktail Survival Handbook yet, there's still free downloads available at bonvillecocktails.com. And we'll be covering the rest of the drinks from the handbook in parts two and three. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you then.